Welcome to another Unturned video. Today is the continuation of episode 2 of the Arid Survival series. If you haven't watched the previous episode, the link will be in the top of the description below. Quick recap, we basically built a small base, done some PvP, and made our first dead zone run. If you guys want episode 3 to come out soon, make sure to drop a like, let's aim for 500 likes, and subscribe if you haven't already. Only 23% of you guys watching right now are subscribed, and if you're in the other 77%, I would greatly appreciate it if you hit that button. Last video I announced a mythical giveaway, and this is the winner. To claim your prize, please join my Discord and contact me there. Today we're going to roll another one which is a burning forest full night rev. to have a chance to win this mythical make sure that you have liked subscribe or comment whatever you want below if anyone watching right now wishes to become a member the link is in the description below and let's get straight into the video all right we're back from the dead zone run pretty good run now i'm focusing on making myself the biohazard cloud so that we can get ourselves both the top and the pants so we can go into the fourth canal now we need the, the uh, hq fabric there we go we just made the top and we also need roll of cloth and we need more hq fabric i should have more than enough i did form these intentionally yeah we have one more there pants there we go we got both the top and the pants now my vault i did get myself this as well the reloading tools i'm going to vault by hazard clothes as well as the night vision i'm gonna put the reloading tool somewhere else yeah, we can make ourselves all, every single type of ammunition, but mostly we'll be using this for anti-material rifle ammo. But in order to do that, we still need to get ourselves the AMR from Fort Knell, which is going to be our next thing to do. Right, at a point, I will also want to do a hard beacon today. Perhaps not the big one, but maybe the distress beacon. I'm going to need to make myself some more filters, but I need plastic for that, which as well I should have plenty of. We'll take the toolbox and we just made ourselves another filter. And I should be able to actually make more. I think I should have enough steel mesh. If not, I'll just farm a bit of that, and then we'll go to the dead zone next. Oh, well, currently I'm an overpause. I'm trying to get more steel mesh. Oh, there's one right there. Perfect. Yo, all I needed was just this one, and I can make another filter, and it should be enough to do the dead zone run. Now, when I'm over there, I also need to blow up with the grenades, because I still don't have a rescue saw. All right, perhaps we should home, actually. I pretty much looted everywhere over here. Okay, we are back in base. Time to craft ourselves the second filter. All right, charcoal right over there. Somebody is exploding. I think that's over it. I don't think that's at Tamara though. I think that's at military base. It seems far away. All right, we got ourselves the plastic. You know, we need the steel mesh and the toolbox. All right, steel mesh right over there. And the final one right over there. And we got ourselves the second filter. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that means it's time to head over to Fort Knell. Over here, I will drop everything that I don't need. We got ourselves a rubber ducky as well. And from there, the only thing I will aim to get is a couple of good PvP guns, you know, honeybee, all of that. But obviously, the AMR. Once we get the AMR, we probably will never ever return to Fort Knell ever again. All right, Fort Knell time. It's a pity we don't have a vehicle that would save us so much from our filters, but it is what it is. I also did take the vest off until we get there because it actually slows us down. Then when we need to make ourselves some more storage, I will just wear it. Now, obviously, all of the zombies, we gotta kill them. We gotta shoot them down. Hopefully, nobody is here. Yeah, there's a bunch of vehicles as well. Explains where other vehicles are because I can barely find any. Yeah, there's zombies here. Good, people aren't here. Alright, let's check out what this guy had. Uh, mag box, the ammo crate. This one, two ammo crates, very nice. Great start. Alright, military helmet. Alright, let's check out what this dude had. He only had the pistol, the deagle. Over here, a mega zombie spawns, hopefully. He spawned, because he could drop some really, really good items. Yeah, we got ourselves an LR. Light bulb, wow. Two wrenches. Alright, this dude dropped. Encrypted transmitter, I'll actually take those. HE ammo belt. Ammo belt. Another one over there. Yeah, I don't think there's any mega zombies. Oh, an armored vest MK1. We don't need those, though. Oh, this guy dropped the TX. I'll take that. Another encrypted transmitter. And in here, there's a bunch of meds. Doc dressings. This dude, another TX. Those guns are actually very nice. This guy, full gunpowder, I'll take that. No cherry Russian. Grenade. I actually don't have that much ammo. So I'll just use the pistol for now. Video receiver, that's pretty nice. Alright, let's med up, get to 100 HP. Alright, so this is also my last filter, so I gotta be fast. Because I still need to throw a bunch of grenades. There's an at least back here, I'll take that. Alright, let's shoot these zombies down. Oh, there's still more coming. Alright, let's reload. Yeah, there's a bunch of loot over there. Alright, ammo belt. TX magazine. Honeybee. I have no space. I mean, I will never use it anyway. Alright, let's do what's important, actually. I'll take the USB stick. I'm pretty sure that's for uh, a barter or something. Wait, somebody shot this down already. Wait, what? Okay, well, it's not. It's glitched or something. It's fine. It's whatever. Heavy military helmet. We'll wear that instead. We'll wear the vest now that we're up here as well. Oh, military computer. Lovely. Bro, from here you can get yourself so much good items. 
copper coils two of them all right so since we're here it's time to throw the grenades all right we need five in total first one blow up second as well third one fourth and now the final one wait it didn't blow up nice okay well we'll use this then the thermal better grenade or whatever it's called please blow up okay it did Oh yeah, there's a bunch of ammo belts in here. I actually should have brought the toolbox with me, but it is what it is. Now oh, let's drop those. But we're gonna get the AMR, so we'll put the AMR in our primary, because that one takes a lot of space. Yes, sir. And we'll only take one. Two spawn because of forage thing, but I'll only take one. Alright, and I think we are done from this run. Let's go back to see if we haven't missed anything. We can drop the pistol and put a TX now. Yeah, we'll drop that gun as well, we don't want it. We'll take the ammo belts. Yeah, our inventory is full. Maybe if we can reorganize it really quickly. Yeah, we got another ammo belt, and we're gonna home. Pretty good loot run, in my opinion. Let's have some important items. Our base is starting to get very small. So perhaps we should upgrade base very soon as well. Also, I'm pretty sure we can make ourselves a distress beacon with all of the items that we've just gotten. Yeah, let's salvage all of these into gunpowder. Yeah, we got ourselves six full gunpowder. We still gotta salvage this mime shell. Yeah, that gives us explosive compounds as well, too. And we need those for C4, but we still can't do them yet anyway. Alright, perhaps I can actually make myself my first anti-material box. I should have enough gunpowder lying around the base. Yeah, we got a full one right over there. I put the field telephone in there, the copper. Yeah, somebody's blowing up very, very close as well. Yeah, we got ourselves our first anti-material ammo box. Lovely. Perhaps we can go and do a small raid then really quickly. I did see a couple of bases all around the map. Obviously, I will attempt to raid all of them, but first I will start off with raids that are close to my base. So this is very early into raiding. I don't want to get counter-raided and lose all of our raiding gear instantly. Alright, let's fill it up. And we'll give this big boy raid very close to me, which is right over here. Alright, so we all need to break this hatch. Oh, that didn't take much. And yeah, alright, great first raid. There's three of these, which we can salvage them and gives us more gunpowder. Alright boys, so we're gonna do our first distress beacon. Now, I actually have no idea what they drop. Yeah, we still need to pick up a couple more items. I should have every single one of them though. Yeah, we still need the video receiver. And we still need the toolbox, which we should have. We got the toolbox and the video receiver we got it from the dead zone run. Well, an airdrop passed by, but I have no idea where it's gonna land. It's fine, we don't really need the airdrop right now anyway. We'll go for airdrops when we would need steel mesh and all of that. Alright, where the hell did I put the video receiver? Oh, it's right there. Alright, this stress beacon has been crafted, good. Now, the main weapon that I am going to use is the MKP. I'll put the toolbox in here as well. And later on, I will upgrade base, because it's way too small. I literally can't move anywhere in here. I'll put the plastic caps in there as well. CW here, we could place it down. Military computer, we could place it down as well. Now, currently the server is dead. It is very, very early in the morning. So I'm not really too worried about people that may counter the horde. Let's take some ammo. All right, horde beacon time. Now, it spawns like 80 zombies, I'm pretty sure. First, we'll use this amazing SMG. Yeah, that's all I had to use with that. Now it's time for the MKP. Oh, it takes only one shot per zombie. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, no, it takes two shots. Alright, well, this is way easier than I thought. Yeah, some zombie takes one headshot, some do take two. Obviously, the crawlers take more. Now, I'm not sure if the uh, distress beacon gives me, like, the key card for the dead zone, where we could get ourselves the Marcy grenade launcher, or if that's the horde beacon. I just want the mega zombie to spawn, bro. Alright, first box is out. Already put 92 shots in these guys. Yeah, well, Aerith Horde Beacons kind of spawn in waves. Now let's fill up. We're running low of ammo, actually. I should have brought more. Hopefully I have enough to kill the Mega Zombie. Wait, is that it? Wait, where's the Mega? Oh, hi. Oh, there he is. Oh, let's roll out. Bro, I'm stuck. Oh my god, I almost died. Dodged. Alright, it's done. Did it pop? No, there's still zombies running around then. Yeah, there's a crawler here. Alright, popped now. Alright, anything good? Um, Wow, okay, well, steel match. A filter is pretty nice. Some components and a bunch of clothes. Alright, well, filter is nice. Um, We got ourselves five plates as well. Two roll of lead, we don't need them anymore. Alright, well, let's home. Alright, well, it's good to know that we can get ourselves a bunch of components from that. Just did myself a huge wood run. My inventory is literally full. We can put the log over there. Now we're gonna upgrade base. I wanna make it maybe like a tree by two. Perhaps even the second floor. Okay, well, base is 
done made it bigger now all of this loot that i have all in the same area i'll just move it around it will make a point where everything that's a component i will place them right next to each other perhaps even organizing some of the loot i probably won't though because i would easily get bored but for now base is looking uh pretty good Perhaps we can even upgrade it later on to metal, but for now we will keep it wood. I will def I don't I definitely don't have enough metal to do even a full metal one by one for now. Okay, so my next step is going to Kahmar and Airfield so that we can progress with the keys. I have actually never gone there, so we're gonna check out if there are any actually bases or something like that. At the same time after that, we can start going to AG19 over and over and basically just loot the ammo belt room over there we're gonna get a ton i will take a toolbox with me so that we can ourselves even more storage there's a base literally right over there as well so we'll check that out later i think somebody looted millet there's literally nothing out here not even a single zombie it's fine i do have the biohazard clothes with me though so that's why i'm kind of scared yeah a bunch of ammo belts in here and there's the key we'll take the rpg breach i'm gonna check up here if this room is broken no it's not all right perhaps now i can actually switch the clothes into the biohazard ones all right, we're back. We'll put the side W key over there. We'll take these, make them all into gunpowder. We got a full one. Let's go. Place that bad boy right over there again. Put the hyper velocity two in there of the items that we've just gotten. All right, time for the AG19 Lutron, where we will solely focus on the ammo belt room. I also got myself another filter. We'll take the video receiver just in case I will want to do another distress beacon, which is highly likely since we got in ourselves some okay loot. I'll take the IR spotlight. It's actually incredible. Today we haven't seen a single person yet. Zolash Modo. Up here we can get ourselves the Dragunov as well. Which till now I don't have one. So I'm gonna take one. And they also spawn hyper velocity ammo. Take a box. Uh, and this is the room I've been talking about. We'll pick them all up. A bunch of AP shells as well. And until our filter runs out we will just wait in here for more to respawn. Bro, I was looting this already. Bro, I'm gonna... I'm dead. I bled out. Alright, well, well, that was a bit disappointing. Um, thankfully... Yeah, it's the only duo as well on the server, of course. Yeah, I bled out. Alright, thankfully we didn't really lose anything that's important. The only thing we lost that was pretty well was the... Uh, the weapon, the MKP. Which I already have a ton of, but that's okay. Yo, another airdrop, dude. I'm going for that one as well. Hopefully this time they're gonna pee people there. I will not die in the most ridiculous way. Alright, landed right over here. And I hear people speaking. Yeah, it's another duo, bro. Alright, I'm gonna get close this time. Alright, both dead. Uh, a bunch of... Dude, there's six mesh. <laughs> Alright, we'll take the ammo crates, uh, the gun crates as well. Take the mesh. Uh, okay, well, they have a toolbox, broken saw. They actually don't have anything. Yeah, they had a bunch of junk. These guys were picking everything up. They have a car battery. Let's salvage... Oh, yeah, I don't even have a hammer on me. Alright, well, I'm happy we got the six mesh. That's literally two filters. Take the bandages. Make ourselves a stack of logs as well. Alright, lovely. Uh, those gun crates had two P90s and a sniper. That's pretty much it. I mean, I'll put them in here anyway. Because later on, I will, m I may start running around with a sniper as backup. Uh, we are back in AG19 for another run. I already got myself quite a ton of good items. So we can leave very, very soon as well. Oh, there's another zombie. Another gump out there. Alright, and we are back in base. I also crafted myself another AMR box. So we now have 20 more shots. So we're gonna go and give maybe a wooden small base a chance, which is very, very close to me. And we'll see how well that one goes. Alright, this is the base I was talking about. I already put some shots into it. I still have two full boxes, which I should have more than enough, to be honest. Alright, yeah, we're through. It looks like there is a bunch of crates. And I made myself, got myself some locks so we can do this. So people can't counter raid. Alright, there's reloading tools. Uh, okay. A bunch of mesh. I will take that. This one has uh, tools. This one meds. Okay. I will take the reloading tools just in case I lose one. I will take the mesh, the artillery, Zolash, plastic, gunpowder. Alright, this one has... Right, so there's a Zolash in that one. A Karg. Sniper. Take, I'll take that. And so an AR. I mean, they are nicely attached, so... Alright, well, I'll take everything and I will start salvaging them. You know, the more metal, the better. Yeah, a bunch of junk. I'm happy with the steel mesh, to be honest. Yeah, there's a box back there. Okay. Uh, P90 homemade explosives. Camping bag. Uh, let's destroy the bed. Alright, well, this raid was definitely better than the first one that we did, though. I mean, obviously, later on, I will aim for bigger raids. But since these are very, very early, and we still aren't trading with explosives or any of that, we're starting off with smaller ones. Bro, can this thing break? Oh, finally, okay. You know, take the gummed tape, plaster crawl, I didn't see that wrench, fertilizer, 
I'll take all of the plastic. All right, so a man TP to me, which is a friend of mine. His name is Bob. I'm going to TPA to him. I'm not going to go with any loot because um, I'm scared he will try to kill me. I will take a grenade with me though, just for me. That's all co coincidence. He joined the server and uh, yeah, they have a Ural. <laughs> where basically these guys are gonna leave the server and they just gave me everything that they have Which is very very nice of them. They really uh, okay. Yeah, they're yeah, they're literally giving me everything I mean, I will take it. It's obviously easier for me. You know, we're getting ourselves some easy loot. Oh wait Is he gonna throw a grenade? Oh, no. Yeah, he's they're gonna okay <laughs> All right, well, thank you Bob. I love you yeah, they joined today on the server. I think they noticed that I was in the server. Basically, what we've gotten is a bunch of guns, some steel mesh, which was very nice, and the Ural. The Ural is definitely the biggest thing that we needed. Yeah, there's also some stuff in the um, the trunk. There's even more steel mesh. They picked up a couple of airdrops, too. Yeah, they got a military computer as well. Damn. Right, I'll take this straight to my base. Well, alright everybody, that's going to be it for episode 2. Now, episode 3 is where we continue with more raids. We're gonna do one of the biggest raids that we did this series. So if you guys want that to come out very soon, make sure to let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching till the end, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!